Hi, I'm Barry. This is Mega City Gaming, and this is the Strontium Dog Miniatures Game Terrain Build Part 5. 5! Eh, 5? What? You already finished the terrain? No, because here at Mega City Gaming, we don't just stop with the instructions. We embellish, we meddle, we tinker furiously. So I'm going to add uh, some extra bits to the terrain to make it better, maybe. Um, and I will then paint it. So keep watching. Right, I added some embellishments of my own to the uh, set. Uh, first thing I did was I used a scalpel to cut the excess cardboard off this. Um, I wasn't happy with the all that cardboard, so I, I went around and cut the excess off. There you go. Um, so that, that's much nicer. Um, yeah, I might glue that and actually stop it wobbling. Um, and for the tower, I added some wooden pallet type bits um, on the bottom. This is some spare bits from some MDF terrain I had before. I just stuck that on. Um, you stick anything down there, just random bits of wood. If you want to just cut up some bits of MDF sprue and, and stick that in there. And for the top, which is where people are going to stand, I added some tiles, um, plastic and in the corner because i didn't have enough tiles i added uh, a bit of stuff from the garden center which goes in the bottom of plant pots uh, i use it a lot um, it's great for post-apocalyptic it's kind of like a netting it's plastic you can cut it with this and it glues so that's the tower uh, for the main building the pièce de résistance um, I put again the same kind of stuff, garden centre stuff, in the window, just one window, because um, I had that bit spare. I added a pipe, like a drainage pipe here. This is from a toy fire engine. Uh, love toy fire engines because you get ladders off them and stuff. Uh, this is a bit of sprue from Games Workshop or something, I can't even remember. Um, maybe not Games Workshop. Anyway. I kept it because it looked like a ladder. So ladder to the roof. I do like being able to get on the roof. Um, that's it for outside. Inside, because we are going to go inside, I added uh, a floor. This is tiled floor, plastic, and it's not stuck in yet because I'm going to paint it and then stick it in. Yeah, because I don't want to be painting tiles i'm going to go for like the checkerboard pattern tiles uh, of course standard in the industry and then stick it in when it's painted um, and because there's a little gap here because i've used this before and this is a spare bit this little gap there i am put a drainage pipe in the corner this was uh, a bit of an old paintbrush wooden paintbrush handle I just cut it, stuck it in there with PVA. For the plastic, I use Gorilla Glue. Um, and then also on the back of the door, I added a random shaped bit of MDF. Uh, again, it was spare. And that's kind of like, I don't know, letterbox locking mechanism. I, I don't even know, whatever. Just gives it a little bit more detail inside because it's a bit plain. Um, I might add some more bits actually, but uh, for the moment that's that's it. I'm done. I'll uh, I might add some more bits when I'm painting it because I, I think oh I could do this and I could do that. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm done. Now I'm going to paint it. As you can possibly see, I spray painted the uh, the tower black and the solar panels. Spray paint them matte black krylon matte black but any matte black is fine um if you like the games workshop stuff that's fine i sprayed this black as well um there are little bits missing but i'm gonna paint it anyway so it doesn't matter um i, I and i gave this <coughs> gave this uh, big building a coat of matte inside um and then i did a top down 
top down spray with rusty red which is another Krylon colour um, it does, it's not going to make any difference really but because um, I'm, I'm going to paint over it anyway but it already looks quite cool um, again uh, I kind of missed a few bits here and there like like there I, that's completely missed out uh, so I might go over it again uh, and we're going to get a chance to go over it again anyway because I've decided that this tower isn't strong enough it's the these uh, these are too weak these cross pieces and this this doesn't provide any cover at all right um, I mean you could stand up there and you'll be you know a sitting duck really so I've got these coffee stirrers I got these from uh, a cafe um, chain cafe it wasn't Starbucks um, but I, I guess Starbucks have the same kind of stirrers and what we're going to do is I'm going to stick a few on the front yeah uh, kind of to make a signpost signboard um, like a rough signpost like someone with hammer and nails and possibly a saw stuck that on um, quite rough stuck it on quite hastily right so I'm going to eyeball it I'm going to use my clippers and I'm going to clip it there you go clipped clippity clop right that's one so one end is the quite smooth end and one end is, is a bit rough yeah uh, the next one will be two rough ends because we're going to use the clippers so there we go eyeball it get it roughly the same clippity clip there you go there you go if you're not quite good with the clippers you can clip it like as much as you can and then you can s s twist and snap it off and then you get a bit more frayed edges and that's good because it looks like it's uh, been hastily put together right so two isn't quite enough two's not going to do it let's get another one again we're going to eyeball it eyeballing it he's eyeballing it someone stop him there we go eyeball it <coughs> clippity clop again I'll show you how to do so I, I clipped that most of the way and you just uh, sorry get it so you can see there you go just get your fingers like that and just pull it there you go bend it take the clippers away so that's like partially kind of done and you can just like pew, 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 and yeah so there you go it's pretty simple stuff yeah don't be afraid I mean oh no I've broken it in the wrong place well you got loads more if you did what I did and to, uh, grabbed a handful because I paid a lot of money for that coffee so um, yeah so three might do it three you reckon three can I eyeball that three that's that's reasonable for a quite a large sign <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to put on there yet so uh, we're going to need our glue palette just a moment there we go there we go I was prepared wasn't I right glue palette and uh, spreader and cat the essential cat is making sure I'm doing it all right this time um, to be honest if you're making it up as you go along you can't really go wrong it's only when you have to follow instructions where we get <coughs> we come a cropper come a cropper right <coughs> here we go so get a bit of glue uh, I think I want it kind of halfway up so bit of glue bit of glue bit of glue probably want let's do yeah screw it let's do that might stick that on yeah stick that on uh, although it's been sprayed with primer MDF is quite absorbent so it should still stick and uh, PVA is quite universal anyway so I mean if it don't stick if it doesn't stick sorry my English is terrible today if it doesn't stick <coughs> you can use super glue um, but then again I do 
prefer using PVA on wood because you get a bit of time to move it around a bit. You know what I mean? Got a bit of time to move it around. Right, there we go. And the last piece doesn't have to be straight at all. In fact, it's probably better if it's not straight. So let's uh, move it a little bit, shift it a little bit so it's not quite straight. There we go. There we go. So someone put that up in a hurry, in a storm, in the dark, with nothing but a paper clip and a blowtorch. There we go. Yeah, let's put a bit more glue on that. If it doesn't quite stick, we'll put a bit more put more glue on it yeah if in doubt put more glue on it there we go that's not quite straight and yeah that's good isn't it that's all good you could wipe off the excess glue if you want it's probably worth doing isn't it get your finger all up in there there you go right so that's given that side a bit more strength we also want um, Bit of cover, bit of cover, bit of cover. So, hmm, I might, might stick a few bits at the top. Um, yeah, we want that not sticking out too much because we want to do all four sides, making sure I've got enough. Stirrers, I put, I got loads anyway, so yeah, that's it. Cut it and like again, like same as before. There you go. Just pull it if it ain't if it ain't cutting all the way through. Uh, you want to be careful a bit when you get to a short bit at the end because these have a tendency to go flying off. Yeah, hitting children in eyes. Yeah, and uh, breaking light bulbs and. Uh, all these things that happen right so two pieces looks like it's enough to uh, do one side um, we yeah like an oil well stick that's all coming out yeah PVA 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 right we're gonna glue up we're gonna glue up uh, this side don't worry about excess, we can wipe that off. There we go. And then we stick one on. And stick another one on. Doesn't matter if there's a little gap. In fact, it's probably better if there is a little gap. Like that. Yeah. And it looks more round shackle. Round shackle. Rough shod, ramshackle, bodged, cobbled together. Yeah, cowboys did it. Cowboy builders. I once uh, explained what cowboy builder was to a person from cowboy country, as in uh, where was he from? Where was he from? Oh, I can't. Ot not Ottawa. That's Canada. <laughs> Utah, it's from Utah, right? Anyway, he didn't get it. He might be mildly offended. <laughs> but you know, slang, different culture. You know, I'll show you my culture if you show me yours. Yeah, uh, let's give it a wiggle. Give it a wiggle. Right, might as well cut another one off while we're there because we're going to do for eyeballing it. Yeah, right. Again, again with the glue. Yeah, much the same as the first side. I'm gonna glue all four sides, all four bits. Du, du, du. Oh, the ladder's there. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, here's where we come a cropper. We'll just wipe that off. So you glue in it. So silly me. It is possible to go uh, to balls it all up. Totally possible to balls it up. It is totally possible to balls it up. Right, just wipe it off your finger. In that case, yeah. Get your glue fingers. 
no problem. There you go. There you go. Let's wipe it off. Wipe the excess off this side. Right, and we're going to need one more piece. One more bit, one more bit for the other side. So yes, make it, make it the same as this. Yeah, again we're eyeballing it. <coughs> Don't need to measure it, do you? Not when you've got eyes. Snap it. Yeah, twisty snappy, twisty snappy. Happy chappy, as they say in the wasteland. Right, there we go. Smoosh that on. Smoosh the glue on. Da 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 da. Smoosh it on. Da da da. There we go. And yeah, just eyeballing it. Just slap it on. Yeah, it doesn't have to be straight. In fact, it's better if it's not straight. There we go. Yeah. yeah. There you go, all four sides. Oh, sorry, all three sides. Yeah, because that's how we. That's the access point, isn't it? And a sign on the front. Well, that is going to have a bit more stability. Uh, these thin bits might not snap. Might not snap. I thought I might. I might add some more. Yeah, why not? Yeah, just to give it a little bit. So I'm going to have. I'm going to have a little, two more struts. Uh, eyeballing that two more struts so one that side yeah and one of similar length on the other side yeah snap it off right uh, so this time this time we're going to put glue on the strut itself because we are we haven't measured or anything like that we have no idea where we should put the glue on the actual piece, the uh, the tower itself. But if we put the glue, bead of glue, at each end of the strut, then can't go wrong, can we? No, impossible to go wrong with that. <laughs> Don't be afraid of MDF, children or adults. Right, I'm just going to stick that on. Yeah. What's he doing? He's ruined it. Yeah. Give it like the X. Yeah. Uh, stick one on the other side. Make sure it's not the same. So it looks very rough. Uh, don't worry that the the uh, additional pieces aren't um, aren't primed because I'm going to go over this again with another layer of primer. We're not going to lose any detail because there's no real detail on it apart from what I've added. Um, so don't be afraid to uh, add bits to your uh, MDF kits. Do not be afraid. Right, it's still a little bit flimsy, uh, but this, this certainly should help. Uh, I'm going to go in with my muck spreader and scrape out some of the excess glue and make sure it makes just make it so it doesn't look like pools of glue blobs of glue if it's more scrapey scrape that's fine more scrapey scrape than blobby blob everyone's a winner right that's better isn't it that totally looks more you know wasteland yeah It'll look better when it's primed as well. Right, okay, that's it for this little section. For my next trick, I will be adding a further pipe. Uh, maybe you can't see it so well. So in the corner here, I, I put a pipe. I made it out of a paintbrush handle. Yeah, this used to be one of these. Yeah, this is a Tammy uh, modeling brush number one. Uh, I use it for dry brushing and uh, glue and all sorts because this is like basically a one pound or one dollar. Uh, so pipes, I thought it, pipes would look more convincing if it if it was in if it was a double pipe. You know what I mean? Then it would look more like pipes instead of like not really anything. Um, 
So I'm going to put one more pipe in there. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to check it fits with the gap in the floor. So let's put the floor in. Put the floor in. Yeah, squeeze that in. And can we fit one more in there? Yeah, we can fit one more in there precisely. And it'll, it not only does it look better, it also fills in that gap in the floor. So it looks like the floor's been cut. This looks like the floor's been cut specifically to fit two pipes in. Yeah, one, two. Right, so here's what I did. Again, no ruler necessary. I uh, basically stuck it in with like that, dry, dry fitted it, eyeballed it. Yeah, so it goes to about there. And make sure I went another millimetre below that because I don't want it touching the roof. I want it just below the roof. And then uh, we cut it, make sure it doesn't go flying off. And again, if it's too hard, you can just wiggle it a bit. Yeah, wiggle it, just wiggle it. Yeah, like that. So it's like most of the way through, just wiggle it. Yeah, make sure you don't lose any bits. And that's it, yeah, awesome, right. And you want the writing, because the writing might show through because it's kind of embossed or something, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you want that facing inside, yeah. And then again, we add add some glue to it, PVA glue, yeah. Uh, let's get some more glue. Glue on the glue palette. Glue for the glue guard. There we go, just a little bit. And then we uh, spread that most of the way along. I said way along, along where the writing is, yeah, to like, yeah, not all the way around, of course, because you don't want glue on the bits that's facing out. And then we just uh, stick that in like that, yeah. Now we have a nice double pipe in the corner, yeah, which can be for drainage or sewage or whatever, whatever. Awesome. You see that? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. There will be more.